What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back on NHL 20 and we are going to be doing another NHL 20 career simulation video and today it is with the second overall pick in the 2019 NHL entry draft, Capo Caco of the New York Rangers. Once again we will be taking control of a Western Conference team and basically doing whatever we can to not affect the New York Rangers in the simulation and see how Caco's career plays out year by year. So with all this being said, let's see how Capo Caco is looking heading into his rookie year. Okay, so as you can see, the Rangers currently have 80 overall Capo Caco on the first line to start his rookie year. His role is currently a third line scoring forward and is heading into his NHL career with medium elite potential. As for his attributes, he is overall a very solid player, 85 deking, decent shooting, and not a bad skater by any means. Now let's see if it's enough to bring the Rangers back to the playoffs and possibly win the Calder for rookie of the year. Alright, so in their first year with Capo Caco, the New York Rangers don't seem to make much progress as they finish 23rd in the entire league. Despite this, Caco has a decent rookie year, finishing it off with 15 goals and 35 assists for 50 points. Sadly, this wasn't enough for him to win the Calder for Rookie of the Year as Jack Hughes ends up winning it. Not a bad rookie season, and now let's see how Caco follows this up in his sophomore year that he'll be heading into at an 83 overall. In year two, the New York Rangers finished 14th in the NHL and find their way back to the playoffs for the first time since 2017, but are eliminated in six games in the first round by the Toronto Maple Leafs. In the regular season, Capo Caco puts up another similar season to his rookie year, putting up 24 goals and 26 assists for another 50-point season. And in the playoffs, he led the team with two goals and four assists for six points. Due to him having the same point total and a very similar season to his rookie year, we do see Capo Caco stay at 83 overall heading into his third year. After returning to the playoffs the year prior, the Rangers just barely missed the playoffs in year 3 as they finished 18th in the league and were just 1 point shy of the playoffs. As for Capo Caco, he has a bit of a breakout year scoring 33 goals and 41 assists for 74 points on the season. With this, he is up to an 86 overall and signs a 6 year $6 million extension with the New York Rangers. Year 4 is another disappointing one for the Rangers as they finished 25th in the league and seem to take somewhat of a step back. Capo Caco's numbers also decline in his fourth year as he puts up 16 goals and 39 assists for just 55 points. With this, his overall stays put at 86 overall, and hopefully the Rangers can get a decent pick who could help them find their way back to the playoffs. So in year 5, the Rangers have a huge bounce back season and end up finishing 6th in the entire NHL. In the playoffs, they fall in 7 games to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second round. Like the Rangers, Capo Caco also has a bounce back season where we see him put up 14 goals and 62 assists for 76 regular season points and put up another 3 goals and 2 assists for 5 points in just 11 playoff games. Once again, we see no change in his overall and he's still at an 86. Year 6 sees the Rangers have a remarkable regular season where we see them finish 2nd in the NHL but have an absolute collapse in the playoffs getting swept in the first round. As for Capo Caco, he has his career best and finishes the regular season with 33 goals and 48 assists for 81 points and in just 4 short playoff games had 1 goal and 2 assists for 3 points. With this career year, we do see his overall increase to an 87. Once again, we see the Rangers have a great regular season, finishing 5th in the NHL, but still can't get over the hump and have a deep playoff run, where they are once again bounced from the playoffs in the second round in 5 games this year though to the Carolina Hurricanes. In the regular season, Kako had a decent season and led the Rangers in points as he put up 27 goals and 46 assists for 73 points. In the 10 playoff games, he also put up another 3 goals and 4 assists for 7 additional playoff points. Kako's overall also stays put at an 87. After three straight years of consistent playoff appearances, the New York Rangers in year 8 shit the bed and finished second to last in the entire NHL. Despite a terrible season for the team, Capo Caco had a decent season. Caco had 21 goals and 49 assists for 70 points, and heading into the last year of his current deal, he is still sitting at 87 overall. In year 9, the Rangers have missed out on the playoffs once again as they finished 20th in the league. As for Capo Caco, he puts up 18 goals and 61 assists for 79 points and is still sitting at 87 overall. Besides this, after multiple up and down seasons with the Rangers, Capo Caco does decide to hit free agency and signs with the Vegas Golden Knights on a 6 year $10.5 million deal. So in his 10th season, first one with a different team, we see Kako's Vegas Golden Knights finish dead last in the entire NHL, and with this we see Kako have his career worst season. In his first season with the Golden Knights, Capo Kako puts up 14 goals and 35 assists for just 49 points, which is his career low. After having a season like this, we see Kako's overall drop for the first time as he falls back to an 86. So in his first 10 NHL seasons, we see Capo Kako have 224 goals, 454 assists for 678 points in 851 NHL games up to this point. 
In year two with the Vegas Golden Knights, Capo Caco's decision still isn't looking like it was a great one as they finished 24th in the league. Caco has another mediocre season, scoring 24 goals and 41 assists for 65 points and stays put at 86 overall. Year 12, Vegas sucks, and Capo Caco's career is slowly going by with nothing really to show for it. Vegas finishes 21st in the league, and Caco has himself somewhat of a bounce back season where we see him put up 19 goals and 51 assists for 70 points on the year. Caco's overall also has went back up to an 87 overall. Finally, in his fourth year with them, the Vegas Golden Knights finish 7th in the NHL and find themselves back in the playoffs where they are eliminated in the second round. Kako has another year of similar point productions as he scores 28 goals and 44 assists for 72 points in the regular season and in the playoffs adds another 11 points in 10 playoff games. At age 31 now, we see Kako fall back to an 86 overall once again. Again, the Vegas Golden Knights put together a good regular season, finding themselves at 9th in the league. But the playoffs were a disappointment though as they were taken out in round 1 in just 5 games. Kako again stayed in the same point region putting up another 70 point season and added just 2 helpers in the 5 playoff games. His overall again does not change and he stays put at 86 overall. Year 15 sees the Knights squeaking their way into the playoffs and getting swept in the second round by the eventual Stanley Cup champion Edmonton Oilers. Kako scores another 22 goals and 47 assists for 69 points on the season and comes up big in the playoffs with 12 points in just 9 playoff games. On top of this, at 86 overall, Capo Kako also signs a 3-year extension with the Golden Knights for $10.6 million per year. In the first year of Kako's new extension, the Vegas Golden Knights do miss the playoffs and finish 23rd in the NHL. Kako finishes the season again in the same point range, scoring 22 goals and 51 assists for 73 points and is now down to an 84 overall. I think it's safe to say that Kako has peaked already in his career and is on the decline because he hasn't seemed to break out of the high 60, low 70 point range in the last 10 seasons. To no one's surprise, Vegas once again sees themselves out of the playoffs after finishing 28th in the league and shocker, Kako puts up another season in the same point range. This year, Kako scores 24 goals and 40 assists for 64 points and is down to an 81 overall heading into the last year of his current deal. Vegas once again finishes bottom of the standings and Capo Kako puts up another 10 goals and 49 assists for 59 points and somehow with this shoots back up to an 84 overall. On top of this, Capo Kako does hit free agency again and signed a two-year deal for $5.8 million per season with the New York Islanders. With Kako being 36 years old now, the Islanders may be his last chance at a Stanley Cup and let's see if they can do it. And in his first year with the New York Islanders, they end up sending him down to Bridgeport where he puts up 21 goals and 40 assists for 61 points in the minors. With this, he falls to a 79 overall and does decide to call it a career. So after 18 years in the NHL, one in the AHL, Capo Cago ends his NHL career with 1,558 games played, 411 career goals, 849 career assists for a total of 1,260 career points. Sadly, Capo Cago never won a Stanley Cup or let alone any personal awards. Not a bad career by any means, but no hardware to show for it. And with all this being said, thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support on the last simulation video I did with Jack Hughes. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more NHL 20 simulation videos as well. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.